Hi guys, in this video I want to show you my home screen setup for the Galaxy S8 Plus. As the screen on this phone is so huge, with a taller aspect ratio compared to other phones, it provides so much more screen real estate to fit in a lot of information. That is exactly what I've tried to do with this home screen. Just one glance at this home screen provides information regarding current time, next alarm time, day, date, weather, storage, battery and music related information. And I have organized my frequently used apps in such a way that they can be accessed with just one or two taps from the home screen. So for the setup, I am using Nova Launcher Prime. I have a total of three home screen pages and a vertically scrolling app drawer. On the leftmost page, I have my news feed that syncs with my Feedly account. This widget is called a simple RSS widget. You can tap on any news to open the article and swipe left or right for other news articles. Below that is the Samsung Health widget which syncs with my Gear Fit 2 and shows the number of steps I have walked today. On the rightmost page I have my calendar widget. The name of this widget is Even Flow Calendar. It is highly customizable and looks really good. The upper part shows the weekly calendar and the lower part shows the upcoming events in the next 3 months. And now the center page. All the widgets that you can see here are custom designed by me using the Zuper Widget Pro. But my source of inspiration is the designs by Stun Zuper 4. It is a collection of awesome looking Zuper widgets. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of making your own widgets, get the Stun Zuper collection, it's really good. I have a total of 3 widgets visible here, but actually there are 4. The first one is the Google search widget. Here if I tap on the Google text, it opens my Google Now feed. If I tap on the microphone, it opens the Google Assistant. The next widget is the time and weather widget. Here I can tap on the time to open the clock app. A tap on the date opens the Google Calendar app. I can tap on the weather to open the weather timeline app which is a really cool app. It has full material design and also has a cool time machine feature that gives you weather forecast for any day in the future. Here you can see the amount of free internal storage. A tap on it opens the disk and storage analyzer app. This app is very useful if you want to know about everything that is currently stored in your phone's internal or external memory. It gives you all the information in the form of a sunburst chart which can be expanded further. You can also see the amount of storage being used by each folder or by each file type which can be really helpful if you want to manage your storage more effectively. Here you can see the amount of battery left which you can tap on to open the AccuBattery app. I really love this app. It gives so much detailed information related to the battery including battery health, apps that are draining the battery, charging speed and also average as well as real time screen on and standby time. That's really helpful for power users. The last widget is the music widget which is actually a combination of two widgets. The ubiquity music widget and super widget on top to give it the same design language as the google and time and weather widget above. Tapping on the album art opens the Google Play Music app and the play, pause, next and previous buttons control the music. On this page I also have 6 folders. First is the games folder which contains all the games I have installed. Next is the Google folder which has all my frequently used Google apps. Next is the multimedia folder which contains all my entertainment apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and so on. Next is the travel folder. This has all apps related to ordering cabs, to booking hotels. Next is the food folder. It contains apps for ordering food at home or making table reservations. And then there is my favorites folder which contains all the other miscellaneous apps that I use frequently. Other than these folders, I also have direct access to YouTube, Creator Studio, Gallery and WhatsApp. My dock at the bottom contains phone, SMS, Gmail, Chrome browser, Play Store and camera apps. In terms of gestures, I have 4 gestures, swipe down for notifications, 
swipe up for app drawer, two finger swipe down for toggles and two finger swipe up for app search. Now app search is where Nova Launcher has added some new functionality. If you install the Sesame Shortcut app, this app search bar turns into a really powerful searching tool. You can not only search for apps but also contacts as well as app shortcuts within this search bar. Say if you want to search for an app on the Play Store, you can do that directly from here. You can also search for a video on YouTube directly from here and much more. App shortcuts were introduced with Android Nougat. The Sesame Shortcuts app make it even more powerful with custom shortcuts. For example, these days I am watching How to Get Away with Murder Season 3 and 13 Reasons Why on Netflix. So I have created shortcuts for these series in the Sesame app. Now when I long press on the Netflix app, it will give me shortcuts to these series. This way you can create your own personalized shortcuts for many apps enabling you to quickly access things that you use frequently. Lastly, the icon pack that I'm using is Umbra. And the wallpaper that I'm using is Wake Up from the Backdrops app. So that's everything about my home screen setup. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want a more detailed video of all my Nova settings, Zupa widget settings and my widget design, do let me know in the comments and like this video. If this video gets over 100 likes, I'll know that there is a lot of interest among you guys for a more detailed video of my customization and I'll definitely make a video about it. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.